I have no intention of signing it, neither do my uh, colleagues. So if they want to hear from us, uh, we're not going to sign the form. Dr. Stuart Levinson showed News 9 the email that was sent to all 11 whistleblowers Tuesday afternoon, announcing the arrival of investigators from the Office of the Medical Inspector and the Office of Accountability and Whistleblower Protection, and the mandate to bring a signed so-called gag order to the appointment. It stated that uh, if I discussed uh, the, the uh, issues of the investigation, uh, we could be subject to adverse employee actions. Dr. Levinson replied to the email message stating, quote, you are out of your mind if you think we are going to sign this. The doctor did meet with the acting principal deputy undersecretary for health, but the other two agencies were not present because of the unsigned form. So we had a conversation about uh, the 10,000 foot view of what we thought were the problems and what needed to be done. The attorney representing the VA whistleblowers says a Boston Globe article highlighting issues at the VA has triggered a flood of new requests for help. My office has been inundated with letters from patients asking me to help them get appointments and get to see doctors because the system is so bad. This afternoon, the VA released a statement saying in part, Secretary Shulkin has been clear that the top to bottom review he ordered following the Boston Globe article will be comprehensive, transparent, and brand new. The Undersecretary for Health will personally supervise the review. We're also identifying a third party panel of medical experts to be named shortly. News 9 has confirmed Secretary Shulkin is out of the country for a conference. Live in the studio this evening, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.